The best offer always wins. Hi, I'm Mike Holt with eXp Realty. And in a competitive market like real estate, the best offer is always going to win. And sometimes that's not always about what the buyer needs and the buyer thinks is going to be the best offer. It's always about the seller, what their timeline is, what their current situation is, and what do they need. So in a real estate market like this, you need to craft the best possible offer to stand out from the pack. I'm going to give you three tips just to do that. The first most critical thing to include with an offer is a pre-approval letter from your bank or lender. And that doesn't mean you have to have it right now, but as soon as you go start looking for houses, you want to have that ready to go so you can submit your offer. And that doesn't mean a pre-qualification letter. That means the bank has looked at your W-2s, your pay stubs, confirmed your credit, confirmed your employment. So boom, they get a letter that says you're pre-approved and that's going to make the seller really happy and the listing agent really happy to work with you. The second thing you need to understand is when is the seller looking to move and what's their timeline to sell the house. So that is something you can craft in your offer to match exactly what they're looking for. So more often than not, the best offer is going to be the highest price with the exact terms that the seller's looking for. So what does that mean? So does that mean the seller's looking for a quick close or are they looking to close on their house and stay a little bit after so they can use that cash to get into their new place? Make sure to find an agent that's going to find out for you and be able to give you the best terms on your offer. The third thing to think about when improving your offer are going to be the contingencies, most notably the home inspection. See, when sellers are looking to review offers, they're going to look at three things. What's going to give them the most amount of money, allow them to sell on their timeline, and with the least amount of hassle. When you have more contingencies in your offer, that's going to be more potential hassle for the sellers. And most likely, they're not going to want to do a bunch of repairs on their house. When they see that home inspection contingency, they're going to think, this person is going to tear us apart and ask for a bunch of repairs that we don't want to do. So I'm not saying don't do a home inspection. I absolutely recommend that you do. But think about it. There's potentially going to be another person that's going to offer no inspection, no contingencies, or ask for no repairs, and you're probably going to lose out to that offer. So think about it. I'm not saying do it, but think about the risk versus the reward versus getting the house that you want. So those are the three ways to improve your offer without talking about price. See, I didn't even talk about that. So pre-approval letter, think about closing date, and your contingencies. If you have other questions about improving your offer, contact me today. Have a good one.